come out here and it's just water all around you for miles. Pretty secluded. The waters here in Baffin Bay are crystal clear. Guided by nothing more than salt water and sky, somehow Justin Cooper and Mike Swinson know exactly where to stop in this 60 mile stretch of coastal wilderness. And we're waiting to feel a thump, is how we explain it. You got one? Yeah. Oh, shoot. All right, let me get the net. Your adrenaline starts running, the excitement is splashing on the water, you're reeling him in, he's dragging, pulling the line. Go. Nice trout. It's the hardest thing to explain to people. There he is. Woohoohoo! Yeah, buddy. You know, the cool thing about being out here all by ourselves, fishing all day, we don't have to worry about the long drive back to the dock. Yes, sir. We're 25 miles away from the boat ramp in Corpus. Um, there's not a lot of people that come this way. As it turns out, Justin and Mike don't have far to go at all. Down here, tucked behind the sprawling Padre Island National Seashore, their home away from home is waiting for them, floating in the isolated expanse of the Laguna Madre. These cabins are floating, but they're still very stable. For us, these floating cabins bring back so many memories. It was more than 15 years ago that we made this trip with Captain Carl, who originally built a series of isolated outposts for renting out to adventurous anglers. Sadly, Captain Carl passed away, but local fishing guide Justin Cooper took over Captain Carl's legacy, doing extensive remodeling and updating these floating fixer-uppers. This is our Laguna cabin. We got one big room here, set up everything you need in the one room. We've got a propane cooktop, sink with running water, coffee maker, microwave, smart TV, and beds to sleep up to five people separately. And with our new remodeling, we upgraded the bathrooms. A shower with hot water. You'd be surprised how good that shower feels after fishing all day. This is our Bath and Bay cabin. This cabin has three bedrooms, full bathroom, shower, large eating area, kitchen area with four recliners, stove, coffee maker, microwave, a smart TV. Bedroom number one sleeps two people in this bedroom. This is our big bedroom, sleeps four. Put all the people that don't snore in here and throw the snores in the little bedroom. This is bedroom number three. This is another two bed bedroom. So when we rebuilt them, we had families in mind. And that's one of the biggest compliments we get is women that wouldn't come with their husbands before who now come and say that they love coming to the cabins. You're surrounded by water. It's almost like you're on an island, but how deep is it? Where our cabins sit, it's one cabin's two foot deep around it, and the other cabin's about three and a half foot. Two feet. Two feet. So you can walk Most of it. our water, you look out here, all this water is a foot and a half, two foot. The Laguna Madre is very shallow. People that don't have boats, we transport them down there, drop them off, they stay there two nights, and we come back and pick them up. Clean, cozy, comfortable. You have everything at home here at the cabin. Both our cabins have outdoor grills. Cooking a steak out here, right on the water. You can't beat it, it's the best thing ever. If you've never had a steak cooked on the deck of the cabin, you've never had a steak. The pivotal moment is after sunset when the lights go on outside the cabin. It's what best can be described as Laguna Madre Mayhem. Turn that light on. The light draws in all the bait fish, and then the trout will come in after that, and then some larger trout. They come in in a school, 100 fish at a time, and everybody's just catching a fish. It, it's hard to throw a lure out there and not catch a fish. It's just a great time. See the pretty spots on him? Most nights, you can fish until your body says quit, but mine keeps wanting to go. Pretty fish. Every cast, you're catching fish. You see them, thousands of them in the lights. It's pretty active, it's nonstop. That's fun. It's one place on Earth that blurs the line between exhaustion and exhilaration. Oh! And it can last well into the wee hours. 
There you go. Good call. That's how it's done in Baffin Bay. We'll all go to bed. I'll get up to check on something middle of the night, and there's a guy back out there fishing again, reeling in trout. It's crazy. Nothing more fun than doing that right there first thing in the morning. Your, your body gives up well before your mind does. Your mind tells you just one more. There's a hundred one mores. Yeah, I have guys tell me that this is the best fishing trip they've ever been on in their life. We've had people reach out to us and say, I came with my dad when I was 13 years old, and all I remember was Captain Carl. So it's still there for the people to reach out to us to be able to come back and rekindle that memory. Sometimes my wife says that this cabin is so far away that I really ought to move it or sell it, but I wouldn't give it up for anything in the world. This is where I want to be. What do you think he would say if he could see these now? I think he'd be amazed. I think he'd say, good job, Justin. I bet he would.